Hello everyone and welcome back to Coolest Gamers Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Origins Part 58, Cinquenta Ocho. I have to say, today, Thursdays are always, always hell for me. And I think I overcompensate for the fact that they suck. Because I drank like an entire pot of coffee today. And a monster energy drink. Which is like... I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I made a mistake or if I'm some kind of shiny golden god, because I I am like fucking high on caffeine. Like literally, I went to go pee right before I started commenting on this video, and I was like shaking. I feel like there's the I feel like I have like the solar energy of a sun inside of me right now, and I'm gonna explode. Like I am so amped right now. It's ridiculous. I have to go to bed in a couple hours. And this is not okay. It's not okay, dude. With that being said, I'm excited to be here with you guys for once in a few days. Turns out I turned a hellish day into a great day. All thanks to caffeine. So, that that's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Oh look, we're gonna destroy a fucking another statue, who gives a shit, right? Yeah, you know, I was just playing some uh, missions later on in the order of going after the crocodile. Uh, and let me tell you, that is a, a, an excellent part of the game. Really, really good. Like, I feel like this game is so inconsistent. Like, there, there are just these long stretches of just doldrums, like, like, this game just gets so fucking boring and repetitive, and then you get to a certain part of the story and it's like, WHOA! HOLY SHIT! Like, it was just a high-octane, exciting, dramatic, sad, everything, like, like, it's as if they set a different team for different targets to write their story, and the majority of the teams were just like, retarded money shells who are just like, eh, we don't really have to put in any effort, it's Ubisoft. And then the teams that got set for, like, the hyena, or the crocodile, were, like, actually passionate, and they put their heart into it because it's just excellent. Like, it really feels that way. It feels as if, you know, it's like reading a book written by eight different authors. Like, you just have moments that are like, wow, this is really inspired and beautiful and stylish. And then you have other parts that are just like, it's like reading the Bible. You know? Some of the books are just bleh. And then some of the books are really rad. Because you have different artists. You have like 66 different artists working on that book. That's what this game feels like. This game feels like the Bible. It's shitty in parts, it's amazing in others. And the crocodile section of the game is amazing. I mean, so much fun. But they obviously just had one author for all the open world content, because it's all boring. And that author is just the Ubisoft machine. The Ubisoft algorithm for cranking out mediocre shit. I mean, they really designed this game to be very um, restrictive and limiting. Like, you have... You have missions where things are just inordinately difficult. <laughs> and it would be so much easier if you just caved in and bought some Helix credits so you could get all legendary equipment. And that's what they're banking on. They're banking on the, the fact that people at certain points will give in to the difficulty curve of the game, which is totally artificial. And, you know, buy microtransaction shit. The alternative is just to go to Retta on the daily and do a quest for him so that you can get a random loot box. And if you only get one loot box a day, I mean, that's not that great. And each loot box costs 3,000 drachma, that's the in-game currency, which that, that, is, that is so forbidding. Like, 
3,000 drachma is a lot of fucking money in this game. Money has real weight and value in this game. It doesn't add to the authenticity or the immersion of it, don't get me wrong. It's not a good thing, it's not like, oh yeah, the money feels real. It's like, no, the money is obviously designed as a ploy to get you to spend real world, world money. I mean, literally, I don't know if I, I, I think I covered it in one of the early videos of the series. There is a tab in the main menu that's called Time Savers. Like, that's how shameless it is. And then, of course, there was that promotional deal that they tied in with GameStop, where GameStop said, uh, you won't get to access... Or it says, what is it, what did it say? It said, the bonus mission is locked unless you pre-order today. Unless you give us our money ahead of time. Which, I mean, that's minor in comparison to the microtransaction shit, but... This game is not as bad as a lot of games, obviously. The fact that you can actually earn loot boxes through in-game currency... What the fuck? <laughs> wow, that looks really bad. Um, I mean, the fact that you can earn it through in-game currency is, is nice. But, who is going to earn several multiples of 3,000 drachmas? Like, you could sell rare weapons in this game, the purple, that second to, that second to best tier weapon in the game for like a couple hundred drachmas. That's nothing. I sold uh, one of the cursed weapons that I got, which is a legendary, a yellow tier, that's the top tier weapon, for only 800 drachma. I mean, that's pathetic. That is fucking pathetic. And then you wanna you, you get weapons and equipment that you really like and you wanna upgrade it, like rares and legendaries, you wanna upgrade it to your level. Cost thousands of drachma as well. Like it, it's just tiresome, man. It's it, they want you to run around in the hamster wheel, like it's such an obvious obvious cash grab. Sorry, for some reason like three billion milligrams of caffeine makes me slur as if I was drunk or something. It's like literally I'm high on caffeine right now. <sighs> and uh I mean I'm equal parts excited and disgusted by this game today. Normally I'm just kind of lackadaisically disgusted. Weekends coming up though, I mean that's always good. You gotta love the weekend. So we're gonna rescue some actors from this joint so we can, so they can, it's like, it's so bland, it's so cookie cutter at this point, these objectives, these quests are all the same thing, it's just, go to the fortress, achieve an objective in the fortress, get your XP. And by the time you're in your mid, mid twenties, uh, level wise. Not age-wise, I can tell you all about being 25 if you want to know, but, I mean, once you're in your mid-20 levels, 3,000, 4,000 XP is, like, kind of a drop in the bucket. I don't know, man. What's to be said? It used to be that I would put up with Ubisoft's bullshit with their cookie cutter content back when the gaming industry wasn't the way it is now. But it is the way it is now. There is no way around that. And what's to be said? Nothing. Nothing at all. Except, you know, we weep. We weep for the state of the industry. I weep for the state of my bank account, let me tell you. I should not be seen in this area. Thank you, Shit! 
Like, uh, yeah, you know, let me, let me, let me just pass down some words of wisdom to all y'all college students who are getting disbursement money to, to live and are not living on their parents' dime, which, you know, by the way, if you are living on your parents' dime, I'm not talking shit about you. I, I'm really jealous. Uh, but I don't- I don't have that privilege. Uh, do yourself a favor. Watch your money carefully. Because, as of this moment, with all my extravagances, my creature comforts that I've sought over the course of this quarter, I'm living on like $18 a week. In order to make it to my next disbursement. And that's mainly because, at the start of the quarter with my money, I, you know, I bought new games and bought nice food and stupid shit that I didn't need to do. Buying this game was a mistake for uh, for not just financial reasons, but just for the sake that this game is not that great. You may ask yourself, as you probably have several times before in the course of this series, if you watched it, Maniac, why am I still playing it? And I'll just say it again. So I have to prove my, to myself that I have patience to do a multi-part Let's Play. For an audience that no longer exists. Let's Plays are dead. I don't I don't even know why the fuck I'm doing this. Everyone's gotta start somewhere, I guess. But yeah, kids, be smart with your money. Don't do, like, the strokes and spend the money that you saved up. Don't be like, my sister doesn't give a fuck. I actually have a sister, but she gives many more fucks than me, actually, I have to say. That feel when you gotta ask your parents to get Christmas money early, and you know you're gonna get flack for it, hey, wait. because, you know, they don't help you with college expenses already. They taught you to be independent growing up, and so you feel pretty bad. Oh, 
kicked him! Like, that's not very fortunate. Uh, the very fortunate choice of words. But, and also, it doesn't sound very intimidating. I'll trick him with my quill. I will trick him. You see, that's what you do with a spear. You don't prick a motherfucker. You just stab him. You stab him hard. You stab him hard and you stab him deep. Oh yeah, baby. I'm so derivative. Can't stand it. Oh yeah, this is the part of my um, game footage where I decided... <laughs> I remember this. Oh my god, look at that! Oh. <laughs> Am I falling? Oh, oh my god. I just fell to my death. A witch levitated me and I fell to my death. Yeah, this is the part of the, my footage where I decided I was going to try to get rid of stealth or do some integrated stealth action type approach, and uh, it, it doesn't really work out that well. This game just kind of encourages you to be a little pussy beta bitch. Anyway, see you guys in the next edition of the Cancer Games. I don't know, bye.